Good morning, YouTube! Hi! I am back with another review! <laughs> Today I'm just doing a quick review on um, a monopod that I bought and will be sending back and I'll tell you why. But it's the uh, Manfrotto MVM500A fluid monopod which I'll now get out and show you set up. Haha, <laughs> you cannot see my face, you can only see my mouth! <laughs> Um, I'll just talk about some of the things that attracted me to this monopod. I'm here. <laughs> um, the head. Very big, sturdy head, which is awesome. The only thing that sucks about the head is um, it doesn't pan. You have to pan from the base of the monopod. This head, I'm currently using the proper version of this head on my 60D right now with the Tikina lens. This is why I keep going. <laughs> Um, it is a good head. Uh, this one's obviously adapted for the monopod, as I just said. Um, it's got this new quick release plate system where you just kind of turn that out and then the plate clips off and it clips back in. Now, the only thing that makes it not very quick is that wee thing I was burling there to tighten it. That makes it not very quick to pop out because you need to undo that, obviously, and then. Clip it back in and tighten it, which makes the whole thing not really that quick. Nice big handle. It's got the fluid drag system. Um, on this side, it's got a wee lock that locks the monopod in place. So you get to wherever you want to be and then you can lock it in place. Works fairly well. Obviously, there's no, there's no pan adjustment. The pan's in the base. As we go down the monopod, it's nice, thick, got this big foam thing, nice to hold. Um, down the legs, it's got the flip lock legs, so obviously just flick them, lock them in position. And then we've got the base, which is the bit that you kind of spend the most amount of money for. Oh, the easiest legs to get down, there we go. So the legs all click down like that. And then you've got this wee ball. I'll talk about it in a wee minute. It's a pain in the backside because it pops all the time. Um, and then you've got your wee, this red bit is the actual fluid system which is supposed to help with the panning. Obviously I'm burling it with my hand up here. So that's supposed to work as smooth as it, it's, it's working right now. But what you do find is when you've got this thing set up with a camera on it, this thing the, the pressure no longer seems to just stay on this, it goes down to the ball and then the ball starts to try and turn at the same time as this and it causes popping and all sorts and that's why I don't really like it. So one of the other things that attracted me to this was its height. I'll just um, set it up right now. That's, that's two, two bits of the leg set up and obviously that's quite a good height for setting your camera up on but it goes up even higher. So this is it now fully set up, two metres high um, and that's obviously fantastic for um, shooting over crowds of people, you can get really high shots. That was one of the things that attracted me to buying it, but just for the sake of MD watching in 3D right now, does it look like I'm poking you? Enough! Back to the review! Another thing that's quite good about these heads is this wee screw bit here where you can attach a magic arm or to have a mic or a light or something set up. Uh, so that's just, we've not used it yet, but I am planning to get a wee magic arm to hold a light so I can have my road still on top of the camera. Blah, 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 blah. So I'll now tell you why I'm selling it. The base of this thing does not work very well. For a £200 monopod, which is what it cost me, £200, it's poor. Um, I have a £30 monopod that I bought from eBay that came from China, and the base is a rip-off of the Manfrotto one, but it works ten times better because the ball doesn't get stuck or jump. It gets stuck and makes the footage jump when you're doing pans. Now before you all start jumping on the comments saying oh you need to buy silicon spray and get the wee allen key thing and unloosen it or tighten it, I done that. I got the silicon spray and tried that to try and stop it 
catching and I unloosened the ball to the point that the base was nearly coming off. So before before I even bought this, I was aware of the bad reviews of the other Manfrotto uh, monopods um, with this issue of the, the ball at the base being sticky and catching and making creaking noises and all the rest of it. But I thought, well, this is the latest monopod, maybe it'll be fixed. All the reviews were excellent on Amazon. Um, but it sucks. Um, I, I have used this, I used this during a wedding. And when I was doing pans, just really slow, trying to get it as slow as possible. So I, I, I used this rather than the monopod thinking I was trying to use the ball. And actually, like, it causes a shudder up the monopod, which was then good into the footage. And that's just not good enough. For a £200 piece of equipment, it's not helping my footage, it's ruining it. So I tried the silicon spray, I tried loosening these wee, let's get three wee screw allen key things. I loosened them so much that the base actually nearly fell off to stop the ball screaking. But if you do that, then the ball does act like the pan when you're supposed to use this as a pan. I'm rambling. This sounds like a pile of mints. Basically, this thing is mince. I do not like it. Other people seem to like it. Totally up to you to get it and try it. I hate it. It was ruining my footage. And for something that costs so much money, it's a pain in the butt. Um, I tightened it up so much that that wouldn't even move. But yet, it still tried to move. I mean, I'm not, I am not. wasn't putting crazy amounts of pressure on it. But I tightened the ball up so much that it literally couldn't move. And yet, it still was causing problems with the footage. So, it's a bad design. Um, I don't like it. My review of it is don't buy it. I very rarely have negative reviews on stuff, but I really do not like this. Um, so yeah, for now I'll keep using my cheap £30 monopod, which isn't great because the build quality is terrible. But other people seem to get the Benro. Benro S4, so I might go for that uh, eventually. But the world of Wipod's opinion on this thing is do not buy it. It's a heap of junk. Um, base does not work right. Manfrotto will tell you that uh, it's designed to pop to stop people trying to use the ball to pan. Sorry, but that's that's just a load of mince. I'm sorry, buddy, but you're going back to the shop. What do you mean of what? I'm out with the 30 day return period. Oh, no. Sorry, buddy. You're going on eBay. In other news, I may be switching from Canon to Sony because Canon releases, or lack of releases, suck. Whereas everything Sony's bringing out looks awesome. A7S, I want you. Anyway, more tips, reviews, and all that jazz coming soon. Cheers!